This question is a translate word problem question. It is greater than three lines long, which is how we know that is translate word problem. So in order to do this, uh, we will read each sentence and translate the information that's provided. So the first sentence says that Alma bought a laptop computer at a store that gave a 20% discount off its original price. So how do we translate that? Well, the original price is a value that we don't know, so I'm going to call it x. So x equals orig for original price, okay? And then what we're told is that whatever that original price is, we're going to discount it by 20%. Now, again, on this test, percentages are always turned into decimals, so I'm going to call that 0.20 times x, all right? So 20% of x is 0.20x. So what this tells us after simplification um, again, there's an invisible one always in front of a variable. So 1x minus 0.2x. What this tells us is that 0.80x is now the new discounted price. All right, so now the next sentence says the total amount she paid to the cashier was P dollars, including an 8% sales tax on the discounted price. So how do we translate that? Well, I'm going to say that P, which is the total price, is equal to the discounted price, so the 0.80x, in this case, plus the sales tax, which we were just told is 8%. So again, that's going to be 0.08 times 0.80x, right? Because this will be 8% of the discounted price. So this is the sales tax. And now I'm going to simplify this equation. Um, so we have P equals 0.80x plus, if we throw this sales tax calculation into our calculator, what you get is 0.064x. We simplify that further, and we find out that the total price that Alma paid was 0.864 times that original price. Now to the last sentence of the question, it says, which of the following represents the original price of the computer in terms of P? So I want to figure out the original price. So I'm going to say X equals question mark. Well, I already have P and X here. So all I really need to do with that, well, I'll rewrite it here, is divide both sides by 0 0.864. And I'm left with X, original price, is equal to P divided by 0 0.864. So there's my original price. But then when I go over to look at the answer choices, I don't see an answer choice that looks like P divided by 0 0.864. So here's another little trick to this question. So I like to use a strategy called simplify. Typically, we're simplifying uh, a fraction, an expression, an equation in the question, but sometimes the strategy also works for the answer choices. And what we see is that for choice C and D, these answers are not fully simplified. So if we go to our calculator for choice C and multiply 0 0.8 times 1.08, what you'll find is that that's equal to 0 0.864 times P. And for D, that that's equal to P divided by 0 0.864 which in fact does match the answer we just got, and therefore choice D is the correct answer.